welcome to Baron's Life. This little guy right here is named Health Monster. It is maybe the most important part of my day. Yeah, pretty much the most important part of my day in regards to nutrition and food. Happy Friday, everybody. Made it through the week, and here we go into the weekend. Um, today, I'm actually gonna be vlogging about what it takes to get started with a vlog. I've had so many people ask me how to get started and what type of equipment am I using? So I figured it'd be a great platform to just take a few minutes and talk about the equipment that I have. None of it is extremely expensive and basically the idea of a vlog, just sharing experiences and fun. And, uh, and anyway, that's what today's gonna be about. So sit back, relax and enjoy. Okay, just had a wonderful lunch with my wife. Key West Sandwich Shop is one of my favorite places. The food's just so good. Um, I'm just headed back to work. Got to wrap up this afternoon at school, teach them up. Um, and I was just thinking for a minute, you know, so many times we kind of talk ourselves out of doing something. And I think that starting a vlog is not necessarily easy. It takes a lot of time and persistence and patience and equipment. And some of that equipment and stuff I'll talk about this afternoon. But just believe it in yourself, because I've thought about doing this for like a year or more, sometimes two or three years. You know, I'll just have ideas of things that I may want to do and I'll just constantly talk myself out of it. And eventually you just got to try it. Try it and see what happens. And so I think that I preach that all the time to my students, but a lot of times I don't follow through with my own aspirations. And I don't like that about myself. And I think we all can feel that way at some point or another. And it's something that we just live with and deal with. But I think just believing in yourself and trying is by far you know, the most important part of this. Okay, so this is some test footage with the Sony A5100. This is really a vlogging camera. This is, I'm down here, I'm in Winmark in Gulf County. So I'm just kind of walking around. Um, we're obviously outside on a fairly sunny day. The mm. camera does great transitioning from, you know, sunny areas to to shade and this is what I do the majority of my filming with um, this is definitely my favorite camera uh, and the microphone picks up very well it does not have a jack to put an external mic on it but the microphone does a really good job now if you rotate the uh, screen down you can obviously see get an idea of just some standard stock footage Super nice 24 megapixel camera. Again, the 5100 Sony A. This is a mirrorless digital camera. So it's not a DSLR. And um, after I shoot the test footage, I'm gonna go home and I'll show you the independent cameras and just give you an idea of what they look like. Okay, so let's do a little more test footage. This is the Canon HFR 800, I believe. This is actually a small camcorder that you can use to vlog with. Um, this camcorder can actually be bought for around $200. It is <clears throat> a different setup. It does have the screen, and again, I'll show you that in a little while. And it has an external mic jack, which is the best thing. Um, it shoots really nice 1080p, 60 frames, uh, super clear, and it has a great zoom on it. For the money, there's not a better camera, but it is not the most ideal camera for vlogging because it's a little larger, a little more cumbersome, especially when you add the external mic. And again, I'll show you all that tonight whenever I get a chance to get home and break down the cameras. Um, just kind of walk around with it, show you a little bit of footage. But very nice camera. I really like this camera. Um, I've shot some stuff outside with it. It's really good for, you know, I watched uh, some of Brady's football games and things like that. And as we film hunts and do things outside, I definitely will be using this camera more and more. I'm just gonna shoot a little bit of stock footage with it, let you look around. Again, very nice Canon HFR 800. You can't really go wrong with the price of this camera. It's pretty hard to beat. Um, and I'll just give you a little bit of demonstration with the zoom here. Zoom does a really nice job. For, for what it is, it's pretty impressive. Really like this camera, and I highly recommend it. I don't have a whole lot of negatives to say about this one. Hey everybody, coming to you from Studio 2E. We're gonna take a few minutes and show you the actual cameras that I'm using. Um, you watch some test footage 
uh, just previously, and now I'm gonna actually show you the camera itself with some accessories that I think are really important to creating a, uh, a good vlog and getting some good footage. Okay, the first camera that we're gonna talk about has got some accessories with it, but the camera itself is the Canon Vixia HFR 800. This is an actual more of a camcorder look than um, the uh, mirrorless or DSLR. So it's just a very simple camcorder. It is 1080p and 60 frames per second. That's the setting I've been using. Um, I have added a wide angle lens to be able to pick up um, obviously a greater, a wider shot. Um, I like the fact that it has the pivoting screen for vlogging and being able to see yourself. It also has an external mic output, so it's very easy to add the external microphone to it. And I just use something like this cage here um, to be able to use two hands with the camera and to be able to obviously mount any accessories that you may have. So this is a actually very affordable setup. The camera's about $200 and then you can get microphones for 20 bucks. This cage itself was about 15. So for an actual setup, this one's pretty good and some pretty high quality stuff, uh, 1080p and 60 frames, um, and obviously still being able to tell, take uh, still shots also. The things I like about it are the zoom, good battery life, but here's the issue. If you are actually trying to vlog, it's kind of a handful, okay? So, um, for the tripod stuff, it's great. But for vlogging, it's not my favorite camera. Let's pick it up with camera number two. This is the Sony mirrorless A5100. Um, this is a pretty awesome little camera. This is a 24 megapixel still, um, 1080p, 60 frame per second, with a flip screen. That's kind of what makes this camera a vlogging camera. And the fact that you can hold it out, it's relatively small. And lightweight and then you can vlog. The majority of my footage is shot with this camera. Um, this is an excellent camera. It has really good um, features. The features are really nice. I do keep it on auto a lot because as you're moving a lot of times you'll go from sun to shade to sun to shade back and forth and so having on auto it'll actually make that uh, adjustment for you. Um, the one thing that I don't like about it is it doesn't have a stability setting whereas the Canons do. So a lot of the Canons are really great with the stability, but this is not. However, the lens, this is the kit lens that comes with the camera. Um, if you buy the kit, does have a stability feature, um, but the camera itself does not. So if you add aftermarket lenses, which you can, which is another great feature that I like, um, those lenses need to have the stability built in. Now, what would be so cool to me is to add some type of a gimbal to this camera uh, because then it would be just absolutely butter smooth and amazing. So I love it. I really like this one. I've been using this one for about a month now. Like I say, the pivoting screen, the ability to vlog, and this is pretty awesome. It's also about $300 cheaper than the competing Canon cameras. Um, so the Sony was the one that I wound up going with and no, no regrets whatsoever so far. A couple other tools that I have at my disposal are a GoPro that I use periodically. Um, I find the GoPro to be cumbersome and the footage is actually not as good as I kind of hoped it would be. So the GoPro doesn't get used as much as I originally thought it would. Um, <clears throat> I also have a MacBook Pro. It's an older model. The computer is about eight years old, but iMovie is the main editing tool that I use. Now, if you're interested in starting a vlog or looking into starting a vlog, I completely and totally encourage you to do so. This is something that I never really thought that I would do or that I could do, and I kind of talked myself into trying it. And so far, it's been a lot of fun. I don't know if I'll ever make any money doing it. Maybe, we'll see. But for now, I just want to enjoy it. I want to have fun with the experience and essentially see if I can grow it into something. I've thoroughly enjoyed this process of growing and learning how to vlog and, and becoming comfortable with the equipment and figuring out what looks good and what doesn't. It's just a process. I shot a month of footage before I actually posted anything, just trying different ideas and different um, angles and that kind of thing. I encourage you to do so. Use your creativity. And if you like my channel, subscribe. Click down below and like my videos. I'm gonna keep posting. I wanna use this equipment to continue and spread to my outdoor series, as well as education videos that'll be coming soon. Thanks a lot. See you guys next time.